What's up gamers? Welcome back to hell. The fans have spoken and the Minecraft movie looks like it's gonna be pretty bad. Of course, the trailer might have just been edited terribly and the movie's gonna be awesome, so rather than just make the same complaints I'm sure you've heard a thousand times, I'm gonna be analyzing this trailer specifically to try to figure out why it feels so bad. Well, I think the power of comparison can help us here. I've noticed that the circumstances surrounding this movie are eerily similar to another movie, the Super Mario Bros. movie. A video game IP that's important to a lot of childhoods, a star-studded cast including Jack Black, and what appears to be an isekai narrative. But it's weird because the reception to the Mario trailers were much more positive from fans of the games. So let's look at how the trailers present their respective films. Ideally, a video game adaptation will make fans of the game feel right at home while also being enjoyable by folks unfamiliar with the game. So in a way, it has to market itself to two very different demographics at the same time. Based on the reactions of folks online, people seem to think the Minecraft movie leaned too heavily into general audiences. So going forward, let's see if we can figure out why. For this video, I'll be comparing the A Minecraft Movie Teaser to the Super Mario Bros. Movie Official Trailer. I would have used the teaser from the Mario Movie 2, but it's just a mostly unedited first scene of the movie, so I chose the trailer that more closely matches the Minecraft One's editing style. Also, I'm putting up the opinion shield. This is all just the observations of me, a random guy online. I thought this topic was interesting, so I'm trying to piece a conclusion together that makes sense to me. If you think I say something wrong, then... <laughs> Please let me know in the comments, I like getting feedback. All right. Are you ready? Let's go! The opening seconds of both trailers immediately differ. In Minecraft, we emerge from a portal to a scenic view of some kind of village. This isn't a recognizable village from any Minecraft media that I'm aware of, but we can see some villagers off in the distance. We also see a boxy mountain overhang thing. Then we switch to another shot of a different landscape, this time with our protagonists, who we've also never seen before, taking in the scenery get a close-up on each of them with their amazed, bewildered faces to show that this is a new sight for all of them. Then suddenly, UGLY PINK SHEEP! Oh hey look, that sheep is so ugly, what the hell? Mario's trailer instead opens with Mario entering a coliseum, hundreds of Kongs chanting his name. His opponent approaches, Mario says his line and throws himself at his opponent, revealed to be the main man DK himself, only to get humiliated. The crowd, including Toad and Princess Peach, wins at the display. Okay, I'm gonna stop here a moment. Obviously, these trailers are going for very different vibes right off the bat, but I think there's a very important distinction between the messaging of both that begins here. The Minecraft trailer is clearly going for spectacle in its opening. We're meant to look at the landscape and go, wow. Then we look at these people who are thinking the exact same thing. Conversely, the Mario trailer gets straight into the action. Here's Mario, Colosseum, let's a go, fight. But these scenes come from entirely different points in the movies, presumably. Mario has his own, what is this place moment. But the point is, this is what the trailer is choosing to open up with. This is what the marketers think is gonna hook you in the most. The Mario movie starts with action, the Minecraft movie starts with introducing the world. The problem is, fans are already aware of what the Minecraft world looks like. Yeah, it's a block world they're not gonna be wowed by it. But someone who isn't familiar with Minecraft, all, like, three of them, would be. And if that wasn't enough to send the message, we get to the first gag of both trailers. Ugly Pink Sheep and Mario getting beat up. These gags are actually really important. I know it sounds dumb, but trust me, what the trailer thinks you'll find funny is huge. So Mario throws in some slapstick. Donkey Kong punches Mario a bunch and the crowd cringes. You'd think that humiliating Mario would be a bad move for fans of Mario, but not really. Mario's a dude that gets punched, crushed, frozen, burned, and punctured for our enjoyment all the time. Mario gets beat up, and it's okay. So it's funny. The Minecraft movie's first joke, on the other hand, is, This sheep is ugly. What the hell? The problem is, this joke isn't enhanced by experience in-game. This isn't what sheep in Minecraft look like. Sure, Minecraft sheep look weird compared to real-world sheep, but when you're in the game, they just look like sheep in the Minecraft style. They're representations of sheep, just like how Minecraft trees are representations of trees. Everything in Minecraft would look weird if you're trying to compare it to real life. 
and everyone already knows that, so what's the point of this joke then? I'm sure the filmmakers weren't trying to send the message that Minecraft looks stupid, but it's the message that seems to have come across. When your first exposure to the Minecraft movie is, seemingly, that it's embarrassed to be associated with Minecraft and its weird-looking sheep, the fans might notice on some level. Again, I doubt that's actually how the filmmakers feel, probably. What if the characters hand a bundle of emeralds to a villager and he offers them something worthless like a piece of string in exchange? A joke about how awful villager trades used to be, and still are now sometimes. This is a joke that fans of the game can understand, as well as something general audiences can see the humor in, even if they don't get the reference. Or what if we keep the sheep, make it look cuter, and as the characters are approaching it, a pack of wolves come out and just tear it to shreds, off camera of course. And we're just left with the characters looking on in horror. Sometimes that just happens in the game. I'm not saying these jokes would be laugh out loud funny, but they would feel more like they're laughing with Minecraft rather than at it. Okay, moving on from the opening shots, Minecraft gives us a shot of some piglins and ghasts flying around in the overworld. Which piglins shouldn't be able to do without turning into zombies, but hey, maybe this movie takes place at a time where that doesn't happen. They're playing instruments and holding weapons, so maybe they're raiding somewhere. Then we get a shot of this wolf howling at the moon. It's honestly a pretty shot. I like it. Then we get a shot of Aquaman crafting an item that doesn't exist in the game these buckets connected by a chain. Then we see some people and villagers running on this castle wall. Then we see a tree with a block missing in the middle. With the characters looking at it, probably confused as to why it's not falling, Boy grabs missing tree segment. Piglins in the overworld go raw in front of a building labeled Steve's Lava Chicken. A creeper is creeping up on Aquaman. More piglins, but in the nether. Looks like we'll get to see the piglin civilization. And they're not attacking this character outright, so we might actually see something interesting here. <gasps> I figured out why these shots suck! But first, let's look at Mario. The Mario trailer cuts to a scene where Bowser is interrogating Luigi on Mario's whereabouts, with some shots of Bowser's army mixed in. As Bowser mentions Mario, we get some shots showing Mario entering the Mushroom Kingdom, as well as a shot showing him doing some plumbing in what looks like the real world. So Mario's actually going to be a plumber in this movie, and maybe we'll get to see the world outside of the Mushroom Kingdom. Bowser's going to capture Luigi, and he and his army are going to be treated with enough seriousness to be threatening. Then, Luigi delivers the second joke by pointing out the silliness of he and Mario's outfits. But not in a way where the silliness is the joke. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> because I don't! <laughs> Instead, the joke is him acting like he doesn't know the guy matching his uniquely silly outfit. I know, these jokes don't deserve to be analyzed this deeply. I do have a life, uh, somewhere. But anyway, do you see how much more there is in the Mario trailer than the Minecraft one? I promise you, I'm trying to give these explanations the same level of detail as to not show bias towards one over the other. I tried looking at these shots from the perspective of someone trying to gather information on what's going to happen in the movies. And Mario just blows Minecraft out of the water in terms of giving you things to chew on. And this right here was the revelation I've been looking for. This is my best guess for why I and many others are so disappointed by the Minecraft trailer. The Mario trailer gives you shots that imply something more. The Minecraft trailer doesn't. Think about it. What exactly do these shots tell you about what happens in the movie? We know Mario and Luigi come from a quote-unquote real world where they work together as plumbers, before presumably being transported into this fantastical other world. They get separated, and Luigi is captured by Bowser, who's looking for Mario for an unknown reason. We will get to see Bowser's minions interact with each other with personality and detail in a way we would never get to see in a game. Bowser is going to be seen as a legitimate threat to the characters. There's so much here to pick up on, speculate about. Now look at the Minecraft teaser. We know there will be piglins and ghasts working together to invade somewhere in the overworld. The piglins have instruments and tools, so they will be treated as an intelligent race. There will be a wolf howling at the moon at some point. Crafting works similarly to how it does in-game, so we will see characters crafting similarly to how one does in the game at some point. Some folks will run on this castle wall for whatever reason at some point. A tree will be chopped and harvested at some point. Creepers do be creeping at some point. None of these shots imply anything outside of the shots themselves. You know you will see these shots in the movie, but there's nothing to speculate about. There's no information to piece together to potentially guess at plot points. 
I'm not saying we need the plot spelled out to us in a teaser, but give us something to look forward to. Tell us something about the world, the characters, the situation that we can't get in the game. The most interesting scene in this collection is the shot of the piglins in the nether. We know that this character, whoever they are, will at some point come face to face with piglins who aren't attacking them on their home turf. And there's also this strange purple figure in the background. This is the only shot in this teaser that feels like it has something to hide. It has an implication of where the story is going. But let's move on to the next scene. It's the meme. Who are you? I am Steve. What a joke. Actually, it's not a joke. It's supposed to be a joke, but it's not funny. The joke is that he is Steve. The joke is that the funny block man is Jack Black. The joke is that he is Steve, and he is such a tool bag. And at this point, the trailer is unsalvageable, but you know what? Throw in another unfunny nothing gag with a llama for good measure. Oh, and make sure it also doesn't have any connection with anything that happens in Minecraft either. I want to make it clear that the Mario trailer also has some shots that don't tell the audience anything, like with the cheap cheap on Mario's face. It's just a haha, funny fish makes Mario uncomfortable. But the point is, it's not every shot. The dialogue in the Mario trailer also helps provide context for what you're seeing. Together, we are going to stop that monster. Rather than the one we got in the Minecraft trailer that's just Anything you can dream about here, you can make. Which honestly isn't too bad of a pitch. But we don't get to see anyone dreaming about and then making anything, so we're just left with this quote feeling empty. Unless you want me to believe that this bucket thing is what Jason Momoa dreams about. Okay, let's unpack. It's important to remember that this is just a teaser. There will likely be a full trailer that gives us more details. Should they have gone the route of the Mario teaser and just showed a full standalone scene or two? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Maybe there's no good scenes. All jokes aside, I want to make it clear that I don't have a vendetta against this movie. I want it to be good. I want this teaser to just be seen as a really bad first impression of a great movie. I want to believe we haven't waited a decade for something bad. I just want to show why I think this trailer looks bad, rather than just saying it looks bad, you know? Trust me, I have plenty of thoughts on how I wish they did this movie differently, despite how little I know about it. But I'm just not like other girls, I have to be different for some reason. I hope you found something interesting in this video, and if you did, I hope you consider liking and subscribing. I don't do a lot of videos like this, but maybe I will now, I don't know. I am a man with opinions on things. Until then though, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a pleasant day.